So I pick up a Pentax KT-D with a weather resistant lens and a weather resistant body because um, it had been raining constantly and I wanted to go out and shoot some stuff in the rain and ever since the lens arrived basically it's been like this it's wet at night it's dry and sunny and lovely during the day so it's getting a bit annoying really just gonna have to wait now for it to rain please rain Looks like buying a weather resistant camera and lens is a really good way to stop it raining. There we go. So, it's a fun camera to use so far. Here we go, another day. And um, once again, the only time I get to go out during the day, the rain has stopped. It's been absolutely hammering down all morning. Um, there's loads of standing water, but it's still not raining when I have a lunch break and I can go out. Why can't it rain when I need it to? This is getting ridiculous. Finally, we have some rain. Um, Storm Kieran has not failed me this afternoon on my way back. It was sunny when I left the house. Um, <coughs> <coughs> heading back towards the house now, and it's definitely raining. Uh, my glasses I'll give away there, so it's time to see just how weatherproof. Ooh, there we go, I'm back in frame now. Time to see just how weatherproof one of these is. I hope it is, because I bought this with my money. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, so it's properly raining now. Um, camera seems to be standing up fairly well. Certainly better than I appear to be. Um, quite like the lighting. We're getting at the moment which is one of the main reasons why i wanted to do this the some lighting that you only really get when it's like this so what do you do but come out when it's raining also i think that the reasonable test of the 10d and it's weatherproofing obviously obviously i won't really know until until I actually managed to dry the camera off and see if it's still working. But, you know, at the moment, it's not as though I'm showing it away from the elements. So, we'll see what happens after that. If it survives this, maybe I have to try and find some heavier rain. I'm an idiot, I really am. Okay, so as you saw, finally got to take the uh, K10D out in the rain. Um, and it was a reasonable amount of rain. Uh, started off quite light, got quite heavy, I got very wet, as you probably saw in the uh, videos. Now, <clears throat> the big question for me was, would the K10D survive this? Um, you know, these were made from 2006 to about 2008 maybe 2009 so you know you are looking at a camera that is at least 10 12 years old um how well would the weather sealing and the seals in it stand up to the rain it went through um and i wasn't exactly shy about using it in the rain certainly um i exposed it to far more rain than i ever would a non-weather sealed body there's absolutely no chance on earth i'd have taken just about anything else i own and exposed it to those conditions well not an expected to keep working um, so when i got back in uh one of the things i was very aware of because sort of temperature difference between outside in the house so 
When I brought the camera back in, I made sure it was switched off before I got back in the house, um, let it acclimatise uh, before switching it back on to review any of the pictures or even opening the doors to take the memory card out. Um, I did dry the majority of the external moisture off. Now what I used for that was a microfiber cloth, but one of the coarse ones. If it focuses on that. So one of the coarse ones, not the smooth shiny ones, the coarse ones absorbed moisture quite nicely. Took all of the moisture off of the um, outside of the camera. Now the one area and I want to show you this that I needed to pay particular attention to is because the um, weather resistant lens I've got, the 18 to 55 um, DAL um, lens, which is AWR lens, you can tell that because you can just about see hopefully the red of the uh, weather ceiling just there. Um, this is not an internally zooming or internally focusing lens. So as you can see, the front of the lens, depending on where the focusing is or the zoom, will move in and out quite a bit. And the one concern I had was water getting on that and being sucked into the lens mechanism. Interestingly, it, water droplets that were sitting on it didn't seem to disappear as it moved in and out because unfortunately as I was drying it off I had I, I couldn't stop it moving um, so it didn't seem to suck it in so I don't know if there is some kind of seal in there that stops it getting all the way in I'm not 100% sure but it is to my mind a point of weakness but the main thing is that um, the camera itself I've not noticed any issues with it, so I've let it dry out overnight. It fires up perfectly happily, um, so you know it it is working quite nicely. That's menu button, so hey, just to prove it to you, it is working quite nicely. Um, all of the ceiling seemed to stand up. Um, Again, when I'd dried it off and given it time to dry, I popped the lens off just to see, and there was no issues with anything on the lens, and you can see the red weather ceiling much better there. So everything seemed to survive the amount of rain I saw yesterday, and no moisture's got into the lens, the camera is working as expected, um, the battery compartments, um, all of the various doors and seals around that, absolutely fine, no issues with those whatsoever. So, light to medium rain, it survived perfectly well. Now I need to find some heavier rain. Unfortunately, um, we were supposed to get heavier rain today, that didn't transpire, it was no really no heavier, in fact probably lighter than the rain I was out in yesterday, um, and there's nothing that I've seen on the immediate forecast going forward, so it may be a few days, maybe a week or so, until I can find some heavier conditions to put this to um, a bit more of a test. So back out with the ca uh, Canon Pentax K10D, <coughs> we're in Storm Garrett at the moment. Um, it's been a while since I last took the K10D out in the rain for the simple reason me being free and rain, heavy rain anyway, have not exactly occurred together. But this is proper rain, this is about the lightest it's been since I've been out and um, I'm actually more worried about my phone surviving this than the K10D at the moment, but there we go. So, we'll see how it goes. Well, this seemed like a really good idea when I was in the house, and um, it, it's definitely not. Um, it's now absolutely hammering down. Uh, my glasses are fogged up, so I can't see a damn thing. Um, I forgot to wear... Uh, I don't even know if you can see that, but you'll just have to trust me. Um, I've got to wear waterproof trousers, so my jeans are absolutely soaked. I'm freezing cold. I think I've proven the point. If the camera's still working in the morning, um, then yeah, it can definitely survive wet weather. Thanks. I'll speak to you tomorrow.
or maybe the day after when I've recovered from this nonsense. Okay, so um, I'm recovered from my drenching, um, and yeah, so, how's the K10D? Um, so, I, I have to be perfectly honest, the, the amount of rain that you saw in that last clip, um, <coughs> and the amount of time me, and more importantly the camera, were out in it was quite ridiculous. Um, to the point, that, just to give you an idea, that the weatherproof, waterproof jacket I was wearing, um, it was a soft shell one, I've never had any issues with it in the rain before, um, that actually took two days to fully dry out because it managed to penetrate the soft shell on it, uh, which I've, I've never had happen with that one before at all. Um, it, literally everything I was wearing, apart from that, which had to dry out of my boots, had to go in the wash straight away. Um, so it gives you an idea of the kind of conditions I was out with the, K uh, K with the camera K10D in. Um, even though towards the end I was trying to keep this under my jacket, my jacket was so wet that you know contact moisture was coming through and this thing was absolutely soaked when I got back. Um, there was water and moisture all over it. So the previous bit I talked about how I um, re-acclimatised it, dried it off everything, did exactly the same thing again and I am pleased to say there is not a single bit of evidence of any moisture getting inside the camera anywhere. None of the obvious weak spots have been hit, so um, the battery door absolutely fine, um, the memory card slot again absolutely fine, no moisture ingress in the slightest through there. Um, nothing up through into the flash area, uh, which quite surprised me, um, and nothing in the side flap, and more importantly, nothing within the mirror box or anywhere around there. And also, the, the camera, I'm pleased with that, but this, the lens, was the bit that I was more concerned about because, as I mentioned previously, the fact that the zoom does change the length and you've got that area around here which has the potential, I think, to, su to suction water into the mechanism did have me a bit concerned. But, as I can hopefully demonstrate, might be easier the other way, but um, there is not a bit of moisture in there at all. The lens has performed admirably. So, in summary, I mean, yes, I, I bought a, a good condition one, but this is a camera that is at least 10, 12 years old, at least, um, and the weather sealing on it has stood up perfectly no issues with that at all so uh, this along with my um, d7000 are my now my wet weather weapons of choice but yeah um, I'm, I'm extremely pleased with how well it's um, stood up to it uh, I will be coming back with another video on the k10d when I look at it more just as a camera in its own right um, but I was really interested on older cameras you know a decade plus how the weather ceiling would still hold up to them after this period of time and in this particular instance this particular camera extremely well is the answer to that so if you have enjoyed this video or you just liked watching me get very 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 wet please hit the like button, and if you want to see more content like this, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos get uploaded. Thanks very much, everyone. Take care. Bye.